Open Ukudin, founder the Bombs Builder Nigeria. Twenty-eight November two thousand and eighteen, I woke up like every other day, stood up to attend to things I needed to do, and when I stepped out, I found out blood drifting from my nose. I rushed back inside, caught the attention of people around me of what I needed. They quickly rush through the roof lift bag on. And getting there, they put place me on bed, and after several tests, they find out that it is epitaxis that is caused by high blood pressure. While I was in the hospital bed, I was given different medications that helped brings down the blood pressure, but not too sadly regulated. While I left the hospital, I was taking all the drugs that have been prepared for me and I kept visiting the hospital for check and review of those drugs. But what I noticed while I was using those drugs was that I was experiencing stiffness of the neck sometimes. I feel like I was still most of the time. It was then I realized that there's a need to regulate the blood pressure. And once I got convinced that that's a challenge, I started consulting people as to the way out. During my consultations, I found out that there's a need for me to really address what is actually causing that and these are some of the things I found out. Number one, I need to get something that will help lower the cholesterol in the blood. Number two, I need to get a very good detoxifier. And number three, I needed a solution that would help me enable proper blood flow in the body. Once I realized that, I further continued in my search. So during my search, I came across a respected elderly person that recommended Rida about bitters to me that it will help detoxify my body from time to time and it will help lower the cholesterol in the blood and also helps the blood flow. As soon as I got Rida about bitters, I did not throw out the drugs being given to me at the hospital. I decided to be regulating it. That is, I use those drugs on Monday, for example, and on Tuesday, I'll use Rida about bitters. And I continued that way, but I didn't eat, and I was checking my blood pressure. After one month, I decided to calculate the average of the blood pressure readings, alternating between either ababitas and the drugs being given in the hospital. And I found out that I've achieved a regulated blood pressure of systolic 128 and diastolic 86, which was consistent in my readings. I decided to also further alternate it by taking Rida for three days and my drugs that's been given to me in the hospital for one day. And I did that also for one month. Amazingly, I was surprised at the reading I got, which actually inspired the reason why I said, okay, let me tell my story to the world and what they can actually do to control and regulate their blood pressure. High blood pressure is not something you can easily discover. That's why it's been referred to as a silent killer. So, if you have been diagnosed of high blood pressure or you are not yet being diagnosed, I'll suggest that you visit hospital and take your reading of your high blood pressure. It is better you know. Now, it is very better you know. That's why it's being referred to as a silent killer, like I said. Because if you could remember 
I told you that I woke up like any other day and I found out that blood was drizzling from my nose. So, in order to avert such occurrence, it's better you become aware of your reading now. And I would suggest strongly that if you're already using drugs prescribed to you at the hospital, try to alternate it with reader about bitters. At least you can alternate it at one day interval. Don't actually stop it and check your readings from time to time so you can weekly calculate the average and know how far with it. Thank you.